Kellyanne Conway from the White House. So we just heard what the president thinks, Kellyanne. Should, should I start with congratulating you on the Senate or offering condolences on the House? <laughs> Neither, George, but I did just leave the president. He says hello to everyone at ABC. There's no question that his presence on the campaign trail made the difference. In fact, he went five for five in just his stops from Sunday and Monday alone. I was with him yesterday, those three stops on the Monday. All three of the candidates he stumped for in three very different states for a governorship of Ohio and also two Senate seats in Indiana and Missouri, both of which are pickups from the Democrats. And I think when a, a president in power has the Senate, it's easier to get through judicial nominations. You've seen that's one of been big mark of his success in the first two years in office are these judicial nominations getting through 26 in the U.S. Circuit Courts and of course to the United States Supreme Court and also the executive noms. The House looks like it will go Democratic but not by the large margins that have happened in the past. Uh, we know that President Obama suffered 63 losses in the House in 2010. President Clinton 54 losses in 1994, his first midterms. And these presidents, these two-term presidents found a way to work with the party out of power on things that matter to the country. President's, this president is prepared to do that, to work across well, the aisle. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. That's what I wanted to ask you. But how is this going to change the way the president uh, does business? He's now got, a, as you said, Democratic House, Republican Senate. Will he come forward with any new proposals that will try to uh, appeal to both? Well, there are a number of proposals, like immigration, uh, DACA. He tried to make a deal here with the Democrats last year. That's still on the table. And uh, certainly he just worked with Democrats in the House and the Senate for a historic bipartisan opioids and drug package. So he's proven that he will do that. Um, also, I think the Democrats, if they've got the majority in the House, will need to come to him and present also. So I think you can expect him meeting with them in short order, whoever they decide their leaders are. But this is also a president who, tend, who intends to be very busy during the lame duck session. The nation's business goes on, even in lame duck, and there are a number of issues that are very important to this president this country that he wants them to attend to as well. One of the things he talked about before the before Election Day was that he would veto any government funding bill that didn't include money for his border wall. That might be tougher in a lame duck session with Democrats coming in to take control of the House. Is the president committed to shutting down the government if he has to? What the president is committed to, George, is continuing on with border security. Border security is national security. That is an issue that likely helped a number of these candidates on the Republican side tonight, along with the booming economy, really historic economy in our lifetimes. But also, this president has already secured $1.6 billion in funding for his wall and has made very clear that that is one component of a very large, comprehensive, complex issue called immigration. We have to do something about chain migration, he has said, the visa lottery system, also working on DACA, something he presented to the Democrats almost a year ago. It was last January. So he's still here. He's still willing to negotiate. But we can't see immigration through a single lens. Some only talk about the Dreamers and DACA. Others only talk about the border wall. This president is willing to tackle it in a more whole of government approach. You pointed out the president's success on the campaign trail, getting those Senate seats and some governor seats as well. And there's no question that where he campaigned, you did see that happen. Some concern among House Republican leaders that that created a backlash in those suburban house, house districts. And that's why you lost the House, because of the president's rhetoric on things like immigration and border security. That sounds like the blame and shame game that's really misplaced here, and here's why. You know, candidates and campaigns matter, and they're not all equal. This president did what he could do in many of the Senate races, the governor's races, and a few House races. I would point your attention to Andy Barr, incumbent congressman in Kentucky 6. That was an early bellwether tonight that everyone, including ABC, was looking at, George, because, and rightfully so, because. Uh, Andy was embattled. The president went there specifically to campaign for Andy Barr about two Saturdays ago because it's very important for him to go and support House members, the president says, who support free markets and freedom. There was no governor's race. There was no senator's race. It was just for the House. Uh, but I see a lot of those consultants who certainly have enriched themselves uh, through these races and perhaps lost some of the races are now going to blame uh, the, the president here, and they should think about that because candidates and campaigns matter. Were they inventive enough? Were they creative enough? Did they raise enough money? Uh, there are other. There are some candidates who lost tonight on the Republican side who distanced themselves from President Trump too. That is their right, and we respected that. But they lost anyway. Because the president uh, is not going to have the House in Republican hands anymore, one of the things we saw him just before the end of the campaign say maybe he should take a softer tone. Is that what we're going to see? 
Well, we always welcome that. And the president also said at the end of that sentence, George, he would like to take a softer tone, but he hasn't been able to. That it's been a rough and tumble game. He thinks he's, that he has been treated unfairly, that sometimes people focus on personalities and not policy, or they're focused on politics and not principles. He would very much like to continue forging ahead on behalf of this country. This booming economy has to keep going. We hear from job creators, job holders, and job seekers all across the country that they're just doing better. I think in your own polling, it, it suggested that most Americans feel economically anyway that they're more buoyant or they're more secure. We want that to continue. Tone matters and tweets matter, but really policies are what most Americans focus on. And I think the issues today were very important. You saw a lot of star power go to marquee races, like in the Georgia and Florida governor's races, for example, and, and those candidates came up short. Uh, that doesn't matter as much, I think, to many voters than the issues. Kellyanne Conway, thanks for your time this morning. Congratulations Thank you. on the Senate.